From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni. There are some big developments for small businesses affected during the pandemic. With the new COVID relief package, the state will begin offering grants, not loans, for businesses. They could get between ten dollars to $30,000 with the state's relief package. The application process will be similar to that of the Paycheck Protection Program back in March and you were happy with that experience, you have a, a lender that you, you worked with, there's no reason not to continue to work with that lender, in my opinion. So reach out, reach back out, and figure out what is the timing and what is the process that they're going to take. Uh, that would be our first recommendation. If the federal money is expected to roll out in January. Meanwhile, the state money to hold businesses over should be coming by New Year's Eve. Meanwhile, the Moderna vaccine also arrived on Monday with Hartford health care workers getting their first doses. The governor has laid out guidelines for how the vaccine will continue to be given out. Among those who get it next, first responders, teachers and grocery store workers and those who are 75 and older. And as of Monday, the state's positivity rate is down to just over 5%. The governor saying we are not out of the woods, but perhaps things are stabilizing. Hospitalizations are down by 24 and 95 more people have died. All right, your Tuesday is going to start out foggy and we'll have to watch out for black ice for the morning commute, but then it's going to turn out to be a nice day becoming uh, partly sunny and breezy. A high of 41 will dip to 22 Tuesday night. Wednesday, that's the best day of the week, mostly sunny and 42. And then Thursday becoming windy highs in the 50s by for Thursday evening, Christmas Eve and Christmas morning, heavy rain. And a gusty wind with temperatures in the 50s and a lot of melting snow, one to two inches of rain. There could be some flooding concerns and maybe even some power outages. Weather conditions will improve Christmas afternoon. Highs near 50, then dropping. And then the regular weekend looks great. Saturday and Sunday, partly to mostly sunny. Highs in the 30s and nighttime lows on the chilly side in the teens and lower 20s.